Hello, and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker. And today what we're going to be talking about is five things I love about my 1996 Suzuki GSX-R 750S Rad. Most of this video is going to be done on the bike, but obviously while we're here, we're going to start at number five. Uh, not in any preference of or uh, order of preference, by the way, it's just this is the easiest one to start at. You can call it number one if you like, or number two, or number three, or number four, or number five. It doesn't really matter, but I'm going to call it number five. And number five thing that I love is the looks. I absolutely love how this bike looks. It is just stunning it i love it I, I there's no other way to put it i love how this bike looks i can park this anywhere and just go oh mm, it's magnifique and you know that it's kind of why i'm so unwilling to change anything about it like even i know i've spoken in a video recently about wanting to change the exhaust that's for noise and that'll come in a different one different video but i uh, like i don't dislike it and i just i love the overall package of the bike so one two or two things i did change around the looks i think i should call out is i did add this this is from beowulf it's just an exhaust hanger that says srad on it which i thought was cool um those are hgl braided brake lines i do like how they look over the rubber lines you know obviously the, the ones here as well um their carbon look and um, what else did i change oh <laughs> obviously this uh from avdb moto um i absolutely love how that looks I've talked about that before and also the rear rear sets from ABDB Moto, um, they're just black, and I prefer I prefer definitely how the black looks over the uh, the standards. Other than that, it'd have obviously the rear hump on it. I prefer how the rear hump looks. Um, but yeah, oh, and got a gold bit from Probolt because because I'm a douche and I like adding little gold bits here, there, and everywhere. So yeah looks wise there's really not much else i want to do i'm not mad on the dipped levers so they'll probably change especially since they'd need re-dipping um i like how they function and stuff though so there is that uh but yeah i just other than that i just love how this bike looks there's really really not much i would change about it to be quite honest i love the color scheme this is the original standard color scheme that came on this one i absolutely adore it um yeah the double bubble screen is also different actually it's not stock and i do prefer that i love that as well yeah i just i just love it the rear swing arm is, is beautiful the aluminium chassis is beautiful or aluminum if you're american uh, i looked that up by the way interesting story behind why the words are different but anyway we're both right that's what matters um except we're more right it's, it is aluminium but anyway anyway we won't get into that argument i just love it i love the color scheme i love the cowl i love it i love the shape i love i love i love I love everything about it, looks-wise. So, let's get onto the road and talk more about the things I wax lyrical about, about this bike. Okay, so, I hope you got a sense of that noise just there, because number four is, is the induction sound. So you have two kinds of sounds on bikes and cars. You have your induction, or your air coming in that noise and you also have your uh, exhaust noise now the exhaust noise on this bike is kind of meh at the moment because it is the stock exhaust but I absolutely love the induction sound rear brake stones in the road like the indu this is the carbed version uh, which makes a huge difference to noise so just again that's what I'm talking about that noise right there it's absolutely beautiful and i love it <laughs> and that's one thing is when i do put an exhaust on this an exhaust upgrade or maybe i don't know some some people wouldn't call it an upgrade but i will uh when i do put that on it's going to hopefully not be too loud because i still want to be able to hear that induction because I, I absolutely love it so that's number four is that induction noise every time you do a pull it is it's actually addictive to be quite honest accelerating on on this bike is addictive like right now Woo! Woo! i even opened my visor and risked my eye hole so you could try hear it more but that that is number four or number two whichever way you want to do it i don't care number three the power obviously comes after Woo -hoo -hoo! sound because they're related 
I absolutely love the power on this bike and how it's delivered. And I don't just mean power, I'm not talking horsepower because as I've said in videos before, I really don't care uh, about numbers on paper at all. It's how it feels. Now I absolutely love how power is delivered on this bike. It's just fantastic. It's, there's no other way to put it. It's, it's the delivery is it's nice it's aggressive uh but not too aggressive like not like uh you know really fast modern bike the really really fast modern bikes you know when you accelerate on them like this you know generally when i do that on a, mo a, mo a really modern really fast bike my pp pee -pee shrinks a bit because it's terrifying in a good way maybe it maybe it grows i'm not sure either way it's it's great i love it uh <laughs> Which, whichever one it does, it's fantastic. I do, I do love it. Um, but basically, my point is the power and the way it's delivered on this bike is absolutely delectable. And you know, it does. I know it goes hand in hand with the sound a little bit, but obviously, the power on these would be very similar. Doggo. The power on these would be very similar to the FI, FI models, uh, fuel injected models. Um, it's slightly different delivery style, basically, but. This one is just perfect for me. Absolutely perfect. I like I yeah, you could you could probably add power. I don't think I need to though. It's just for me it's perfect. Because it's a road bike. Like this is for me is primarily a road bike. I'm never I'm never gonna have the money or the time to go, you know, to track days every weekend or whatever else. So this for me is primarily a road bike. And you know, not only about the power how it's delivered, but also when you're cruising, like I bring this bike to work. And when you're cruising, I've done a commuter review on it, but when you're cruising on the motorway and you're in sixth gear, it's it's such an it's it's revving at such an inoffensive level. It's like six or seven thousand RPM, you know, at your at your motorway speed limit. Or sorry, at your motorway speed limit, the one that you should drive at, it's at about five and a half thousand RPM, which is like, you know, wait, one gear down, which is around about here. Which is nothing. It's it's so inoffensive it's not vibrating it's not too loud it's not you know it's not going to eat fuel so you have the options on this bike of being in the lunatic asylum level of uh, revs and noise and power or you can you can just gentle it right down by dropping your revs and all of a sudden it becomes a, a pretty damn comfortable bike uh, <laughs> to be honest to commute on so yeah i just i absolutely love it I, I i i love it i absolutely love everything about how the power is delivered the gearing everything to me is is honestly it's perfect so no complaints number two the handling this bike is a uh, cool house i love that house i spoke about that in another video um number two is is the handling and this is all original so original suspension, original everything. It does have a brand new set of Bridgestone S22 tires on it, uh, which definitely make a difference. Um, you know, if I had crappy tires on here, I definitely don't think I'd like it as much. But even look at the brakes. It's a lot of front brake. Had that up, uh, up quite, quite tastily there, you know. Um, but everything about it. So the brakes are, yeah, they're not the best brakes in the world, but they're 20 something year old technology. Uh, definitely could be improved, even the master cylinder, which I probably will do. But everything else about it, it's a scalpel. It like, when I ride the Magna, for instance, on this road, or even the CBF, I'd be doing the same speed, but it'd feel like so much more, you know? It'd feel like a speed that I'm like, oh, I'm pushing it on here. But you never feel like that in this bike. It's, it's, it's disarming at how nice the handling is on it. You know what I mean? Or maybe you don't know what I mean. Either way, it is it is absolutely everything. Like, look, just skip over that. Saw it, skipped around it. Dirt on the road. It doesn't matter. Every every input is just instant. So I'm like, okay, I want to go, you know, there, boom, doom. doom everything is just so direct. That's the word I'm looking for. The handling is so, so, so direct. And obviously, look, I, I'm not a sports bike head. I haven't ridden as many sports bikes as I have other bikes. I assume most of them are like this. Um, and then, you know, if that is the case, if most of them are like this, then I completely understand why people love these bikes. 100%. I get it. You don't need to explain it to me. I get it. But the good thing about, you know, the brakes being not so great is you're always aware of that. And that's, that's a good thing as well, because I think 
at the moment the brakes being what they are and the handling being what it is you're always aware you're always aware that you don't have the greatest anchors in the world to slow you down they're good don't get me wrong they're good I wouldn't be overly concerned about them and putting them on but also you're aware of the fact that you know the brakes that you have aren't super modern really good brakes you know they're not linked they don't have ABS they don't have any of that and the cool thing is maybe everyone wouldn't be but I am very aware of that and it kind of keeps me honest out in the road and I like that I know some people might not like that but I do like that uh well we're not going that way are we we're going this way now <laughs> I didn't know that was a turn um which is like I said it's a good and a bad thing for me though I actually I do like how it keeps keep, oh, keeps me honest so that's that is the handling beautiful absolutely beautiful and then number one what's what is number one and by the way right when I say this I know look at that absolutely beautiful again I know this is gonna upset some people but I love I love the fact this is a 1996 Suzuki GX6R 750 S-Rat I like the fact it's from the era it is I like the fact it's a 90 sports bike I like the fact it's raw I like the fact it doesn't have any assists I like the fact it's carved I, I, I like the fact that this bike is what it is and it, you know it's from it is from what is unfortunately in my opinion a bygone era so am I talking against modern assists am I talking against all that stuff no modern assists are good ABS is good you know a fuel injection is good all of these progressions are you know you can't really argue against the fact that they're good but it's like people who study history you know what I mean like lots of people might not understand people who study history lots of people might not understand the fact that I visit lots of historic monuments but also lots of people get it and that's what I'm trying to get at probably really badly here is for me this bike is an icon this bike is only four years younger than me right <laughs> this it and it, it is it, it even not for me this is an iconic bike this is a historic bike uh, the the first of you know the 750 s rads of this model you know what I mean the carb version it's it is the first of the first and it's in you know a paint scheme that I wouldn't swap for anything I just want to find somewhere to pull in to finish this video oh no don't like those stones I don't know how they can put these stones in the road it's absolutely ridiculous so so dangerous I've never been out this road I have no idea where I am <laughs> ain't that cool oh that's a nice little bridge nice little bridgey swingy boy trees in the road awesome very good very good I promise we'll pull in soon I'll find somewhere I always do or well you know I always have up until now <laughs> maybe not this time oh that's cool that's a really cool wall this is really cool I like it here this is nice the trees are cool this is cool I like it and look we don't need to pull in but the whole thing that I'm trying to say is a graveyard up there so there should be somewhere to pull in is it's the experience of it you know people like going to historical places to to get the feel of the energy that they might feel there to get the feel of you know past events etc right and every time I ride this bike in my head and it's the same with the Super Magna I, I have a Super Magna by the way if you didn't know I own a, I own a Honda Super Magna but every time I ride this bike, it feels like I'm just taking a little step back through time. A little step back to when, you know, bikes were, were simpler. I'm not gonna say purer because I, like I said, I don't, I don't agree with the, um, uh, I don't agree with the, the hate that, you know, some <sighs> newer bikes get, new assists get. I think, I think it's nonsensical. Um, progression is progression. If you don't like it, there are options like this they just they just require more work and sometimes a lot more effort to keep on the road but 
that's my point number one the thing i and this one is ranked right so number one is number one to me the thing i like most about this bike is the fact it's the suzuki jixxer srad 750. how are you getting on i'm good And that is why I love bikes. You can just meet someone and have a chat. Nice fella, nice fella. Never asked his name, whoops. Anyway, <laughs> to finish this video, the reason I love this bike is because of what it is. Because of what it represents, a simpler time with less assists. And like I said, I'm not gonna use the word pure because I think that's nonsense or, you know, it, it, but it is definitely a more raw experience. And that's why I love it. Um, Every time I go out in it, it's like, it's honestly, it's like just stepping back a little bit. That's a really cool wall. Um, through time a little bit and just getting on a piece of history. And I, I love that because I'm a bit of a history nerd. Um, nothing like my friend Darren, but I do like history. And my memory is terrible, so I often forget things. But either way, look, the point is I love, I love what it is. I love the fact it's just a raw experience. It's a raw bike. And every day I love it more and more. So there you go. There's my top five things that I love. You asked, I gave it to you. Hopefully the YouTube algorithm likes likes it if that's why people are suggesting it. But um, yeah. And a and little bonus round. You know, people stop to have a look at it. People stop because they're interested in this bike. It's the same with the Super Magna. If you have something like this, people remember it. People have an interest in it. People looked at them and, and wanted them for years. And that that's where that comes from. It's that feeling. It elicits emotion. And that's what bikes do for me anyway, but this one in particular, and I'm, I'm getting all I'm, I'm getting all wax lyrical about shite again, apologies. But that is what I love about that bike. Also, doesn't it look magnificent in the sun? And yeah, if you watched this video, thank you very much for watching. If you're one of the people who asked me to make this video, uh, I do appreciate it and thank you for showing the interest in my top five loves of this bike. And yeah, as always, a special thank you to my patrons. My patrons, if you didn't know, um, they, made these possible the rear sets and they made this possible directly because of them and also the patrons will be pretty much it when i change the exhaust it's going to be 80 percent funded through the pat patron account as well so I, I honestly i can't tell i can't tell everyone who has or who is currently or has in the past patroned me uh, how much i appreciate you it's just it's incredible to, to, to make these things possible I, I yeah anyway there you go and yeah until next time thank you again for watching adios Outro crew, outro crew. That's a cool wall. I do have a question, outro crew. For you, and I honestly put it down in the comments because I'm genuinely interested. Are you more on the side of older bikes or newer bikes? And whichever that may be, are you someone who like defends your stance aggressively or are you a sane person who can converse about the, the qualities of both? And if you're not a sane person, then please become sane because all bikes are precious to me. And yeah, thanks, thanks for watching this far. Bye.